Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to replace the ball joints in my 2014 Wrangler JK, and we're gonna replace it with the TerraFlex Heavy Duty Ball Joint Kit. It already has a set of TerraFlex Heavy Duty Ball Joints in it that are probably installed at least five, six years ago. But we're gonna swap them out to the new modern updated style. First thing I'm gonna do is bust all the lugs loose, jack it up, and remove the tire. First thing I like to do is bust them free by hand. Once they're loose, jack up the front diff, put a jack stand under it, lower it down, and then use an impact to remove all the nuts. Gonna have to bust that free, so I'm gonna use some spray on that. Let her soak up. So you want to remove the brake caliper and the rotor, and that bolt right there is a 22 mil, and that one is an 18. So we're gonna pull those apart, hang the brake caliper up somewhere, remove the disc. That's already soaking. Hopefully we can get that nut off without any issues and bang that out. So you might as well spray, those are the bolts for the unit bearing. We also need to remove that and get it out of the way. So this is the moment that I'll make it or break it for you. I sprayed all the outsides of the bolts down. I got the RCV axles, which makes it a little bit more difficult. So I got a flex extension here, which gives me a little bit of wobble. This is a 13 mil 12 point. And if you ever dealt with 12 point fasteners, they're not your friend. And that being, that's why I'm gonna use that super long ratchet there.
Well, typically you would just pull your axle out because I got RCV axles. I need to pry that boot back carefully. So I just need to move the cotter pin, get some light on the subject from those. So that is 22 mil. The bottom one is a 24. We're gonna take the nuts right off, put them on loosely, bang a hammer up top, and then that should drop down. So now we're ready to move the ball joints. We've got to press the upper one out first, then the lower one. You gotta need a kit like this, ball joint remover kit. This is like the master kit that has all the parts you need. So I'm gonna have it set up. You get a light on there. Is that that cone has to be bigger than what the ball joint is? And then I got this piece right here. I'm gonna put the vise on her. So there I am. Due to the orientation, can't get an impact on it. This one here is knurled, so that's why she's uh, being a little bit more stubborn. As far as let me know, there we go. So the bottom is going to be pulled out similar, except I'm using this setup, and then I'm just going to use this part right here, push down directly on the ball joint and out. So the lower ball joint came out and I'm telling you, it uh, was pretty violent to say the least. But now we're going to get prepped to put the new ones back in. So now I'm going to get ready to install them. Because I have the RCVs, I need to install the bottom ones a certain orientation with those going towards the front. That's very important how we do that. All right, so I'm gonna take some, take some grease, get in there. Now I didn't, I didn't polish these bores out, like sand them, only because there was a knurled ball joint in there before, and I wasn't sure when I bought them. And I figured since these were brand new, or they only had one set of ball joints in these Terraflex axles that they probably didn't have the knurled ones, but I guess they did. I might be okay like that. We'll see how well it goes in.
Now the instructions say for the upper ball joint, remove the rubber boot when you press it in. There's no orientation. I got the torque wrench out because the upper and lower ball joints have to be torqued to 70 foot pounds of torque. And then don't forget, put your cotter pins in. So moving forward, I already put the axle in. I got an RCV axle, so as you guys are gonna about to see, get this cup back on the easy ways. I just wrap something around it and pulled it forward to get that cup back on. Now the EBS sensor is in. Now these wheel hub bolts are 75 foot pounds of torque. And there we have it, both sides are done, ball joints are installed. Now we're gonna take this bad boy out for a spin to see if she drives any different. But anyways. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll see you in the next one.